Are you ready to run your very first event on Squee? It is so much easier than you might think. While Squee's Party Room has a ton of great features, only a few are truly essential because Squee's built-in automation will do most of the heavy lifting for you. This lesson is focused on using only the most essential features. To keep things simple for our example, I am using a very basic timeline with only one guest in attendance. First thing to know, your events won't start themselves. By manually starting your event, you will be opening the doors to your party room so the guests are taken to the party instead of to the RSVP page. I can start this ABC Company party from two places, by using the Start This Event Now button in the dashboard header or from its thumbnail in Scheduled Events. Once I've clicked either one, I am pulled straight into the party room. In Squee, most of the conversation happens in the group chat. And look, I've already chatted without doing a thing. That's because this chat was written and scheduled ahead of time. These are called scheduled chat messages and they are imported into your event when you import a timeline. Right here, I can see a countdown before the next scheduled chat will be posted. By clicking View All, I can see all the scheduled chat messages for this event. If you don't want any additional scheduled chat to post, you can disable all future messages with this toggle. As your guests join the party, you'll see their names announced in the group chat. Encourage guests to start chatting by being the first to welcome them. Building customer relationships, talking about your products, and helping your guests shop are your top priorities in the group chat. Keeping your guests focused and engaged keeps them from wandering away. You may have noticed that when I first started the event, the post timer was already counting down to when Squee would switch to the next post. The timer can be paused or overridden. Most consultants who are new to Squee though, just let the timer do its thing and may never use these manual controls at all. I'm ready to move on though, so I just click the next post button to move forward. When the post changes, it changes for everyone simultaneously. This is an important concept in Squee. Everyone sees the same post at the same time. This helps the party flow smoothly because everyone is chatting about the same thing. All the products that have been added to this post are displayed here in the In This Post section. Encourage your guests to star every product they would like. Tapping a star adds those products to their personal favorites list and helps them keep track of products they like for easier shopping later. It can help to let them know that this is a wish list, not a shopping cart, so there's no harm in going star crazy. By the way, because I'm on a computer, I can see the chat on the right side and the products below the post. For anyone attending on a phone, the chat and the products will be shown below the post through separate menu icons. So now let's pretend that I just went through all the posts and I have reached the end of our party. Most consultants include a time to shop post at the end because it makes shopping easier by displaying all the products featured in all of the posts in one single place. Each product shop now link will take guests to that products page on my personal shopping website. In your own party, guests will use those links to add items to their cart on your shopping website where they can complete their purchases. Now, something else happened when we reached the last post. The guest navigation controls appeared just below the post. Remember what I said earlier about everyone seeing the same post at the same time? Now that the guest navigation is unlocked, my guests can independently go to any post they want. This is useful if they want to take a second look at the products on a certain post, or if they arrive late or miss the party and just want to catch up. When you're ready to leave the party room, you have two options. You can keep the party room open by using leave event, or you can close the party room forever by using end event. Most consultants will leave the party room open for a day or two, but the event won't end until you end it, so you can keep it open forever if you want. I'm gonna leave it open for now, and notice what this pop-up says about which post I'm on. Your guests will arrive on whatever post is selected in grid view. Usually, you'll want them to start at the beginning of your event, 
And by clicking this button, I can change the active post to post one. Now, I've left the party room. Before we started this event, it was in the scheduled events section. Now, it's in the active events section. If you need to return to the party room, you'll just click right here. When I'm ready to end the event, I'm just going to return to the event and select end event. This party will then move to, you guessed it, the ended events section. That's all there is to it. Running your first event can truly be as simple as clicking start, chatting with your guests, and then selecting leave event. Happy partying.